my name is Gina Athena Ulis. I am, uh, I, I, I call myself an artist scholar. Um, I'm an anthropologist as well. My name is Yvonne Kanaki and I am by trade a film programmer specializing really in Black British and Caribbean film. Yeah, I'm Beatriz Santiago Munoz. I'm an artist. That quote from Jackie Alexander, um, you know, in which she says colonialism was about dismemberment is for my own practice and my own work. It's the, it's, it's part of the, it was like the point of entry in terms of how to think about why I would be doing what I'm doing and to what end, right? And the end is repair, right? Uh, Undoubtedly, fracture is what we have inherited. It's what we keep recreating. I want to um, think about the camera and the projector and what it does um, and not take for granted um, the kind of uh, reproduction of a rational image of space or a certain kind of perspective, not take for granted um even like one point of view that it must be one point of view not take for granted i mean you know, just qu question it in different ways well that's when you move away from colonization and you start to see um you see it in a in a, in a different way you see it i don't know if it's you start to see people for who they are you know for where for where that for their particular uh standpoint in the world as opposed to, um, you know, the camera subjecting them to what they should be or what they should, what they want to see them as, you know? I was thinking a lot about um, the idea of like haunting the future, you know, like making sure that these people who are, were the people that led disobedience movements in Vieques that made sure that the uh, U.S. military left and stopped bombing that put their bodies on the line that became sick but are sick right now. I, I was thinking how do I uh, take these images and kind of throw them towards the future so they cannot be erased, so they cannot be forgotten, so they continue to be uh, in the present of like, whoever lives in this land in the future. I remain struck by this idea of haunting the future. That's, you know, I, I often talk about, and I'm gonna relate this, how in many ways, Haiti's been at the avant-garde of, 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 uh, of our futures, yeah. right? Thinking about, you know, the having to deal with these climate disasters, um, military disasters, economic disasters, social experiments that have failed, if you think about it, in terms of the economics of um, how wealth is distributed, um, how uh, economies have been extractive and racial politics, right? Uh, I mean, I mean it's, it's all right there. And um, I just think how colonization has worked very hard to make sure that we don't speak to each other. And that in itself is quite interesting. Like why are you working so hard to make sure that we don't talk to each other. Yeah. Young people are very concerned with how do we make change? How do we change this, right? You know, the same order, the same pattern, the same waves that you took with your film and, um, you know, cut, splice, mix and change to create something new. And that to me is the work. And I think your work, your actual films are part of a, an example of what it means to do the work, right? What are the tools you were given? So to the person who asked that question, what is your passion? What is the thing that you are excited about? How are you engaging with that in a very mindful way to assure that what you're doing is not recreating patterns that you're nervous, anxious, don't want to repeat, right? That's, that's self-work. I'm going to quote, you know, Tony Cade Bambara, who says, the revolution is within the self, mm. in the self. It's not out there. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's, it starts with you and it's, it's an internal process, right? And, it's, and if, if you're doing it, if you're able to engage with it, and there's lots of tools out there, that's where the work actually begins. 